The government says it's going to spend millions of pounds improving education in two of the northwest's most deprived boroughs. Oldham and Blackpool will be among ten so-called opportunity areas to receive extra money aimed at increasing social mobility. It was announced at Conservative Party conference in Birmingham. Well, Steve Saul is here now with the details. Steve. Thanks, Annabel. In November last year, Ofsted's chief inspector described Blackpool's secondary schools as dire. Two-thirds, he said, were inadequate or required improvement. Oldham wasn't much better, with just over a third. 36% of schools rated good or outstanding. As two of the worst performing authorities in the country, they've been selected as new opportunity areas. Initially, there'll be six across England, which will see special plans to improve standards. They'll get a share of £60 million. The government says it will improve standards in schools, but also offer high-quality careers advice and give children the chance to access life-changing experiences outside of school. Well, earlier today, I went to Failsworth School, which has already been rated inadequate. Two years ago, Failsworth School was heavily criticised after an Ofsted inspection. But now things are starting to improve. Please make sure that everything is put away in the correct place. And can we pack away now? I think what it does for us is it builds on the, um, the, the improvement that Oldham's already um, undertaken and that the school's undertaken and any additional resources that come into the school uh, or the, uh, the Oldham area are, are very much welcome but the improvements have already started so we feel it will just add to our journey going forward. Oldham and Blackpool have had their share of problems with schools but the government says with the extra help this new scheme will bring that could change. I talked about our education system needing to give children and young people three things. Knowledge and skills, the right advice and great life experiences. Opportunity areas will have a push on all of these three. Specifically, the new programme will focus on teacher support and school improvement, along with careers advice, mentoring and apprenticeship opportunities. It's to help make sure pupils are more ready for work when they leave. I'm delighted the government has recognised that we need more help, but more importantly that it will be a locally led project with a local person in charge of it. Blackpool has many individual characteristics and you need to understand the town to truly start to try to help it in my view. It's not yet clear how much of this £60 million Alderman Blackpool will actually get. It may well be £6 million each. The Conservatives won't tell us how long it will be spread out over. Unions say that while any extra money is welcome, it's just two towns in the northwest, and it won't replace what's being taken away. We think that schools' education is facing an 8% real terms cut across the next four years. In the country as a whole, that's two and a half billion pounds. This 60 million is a drop in the ocean. Even just across the authorities that they've talked about, it won't really replace the cuts that are going to happen. Schools in Oldham and Blackpool will also get access to another pot of £75 million to improve teaching and school leadership. Steve Saul, BBC Northwest Tonight, Failsworth.